All right, we ready? All right, people are coming in, coming in. Let me, hey, Draca. Okay, so we are uh, going to, let's get his, let's make sure we got Jay on. Gotta have our special guest on. I'm excited, yay. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna stream the Facebook. Oh, we got some fellas in the house. We got some fellas in the house. Give me one second. All right, we almost here. All right, let me make sure. Here we go. Oh my goodness, the room is almost crowded. We are at capacity. Okay, so we're about to go live on Facebook, y'all. Sorry, I had to put something on my stomach. I've been running all day. Look at all these fellas. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and promote Jay. Okay. All right, I'm getting ready to cue you up. All right, let's get ready to go to Facebook. Here we go. All right, we are live on Facebook. How is everybody doing tonight? I just wanna make sure that I can see everybody's questions. Our room is at capacity. Let me tell you, that's how crazy it is. Um, in anticipation of our special guest tonight, we have been doing a week long series of membership masterclasses, sort of like an orientation, if you will, for some of our partners who teach short-term trading strategies, and this is really for you to have a second skill set on, um, you know, extracting money from the stock market because we've kind of been taught this buy and hold strategy, which you absolutely have to know for long-term investing. But what about now money, right? We want to make some money now. We don't want to watch the, you know, paint dry on the wall. That's boring. <laughs> So we want to do some stuff that's going to allow us to make some money now because we got bills now. We got dreams that, you know, need to be financed now. We got kids to take care of now. We want to go on vacation as soon as we can go outside. So I can tell you how excited I am. 
someone else brought me this guy and she had been raving about him, raving about him. You guys know Tisha. Tisha's been in the group. She, you know, she's done well in my options class. She's done well in his class. And she was like, you got to meet Jay. You got to meet Jay. And guess what? I got a chance to meet Jay probably about a month or two ago. And we just hit it off. And he's here tonight. And I'm just so delighted. You, you guys just will not, you know, how can I say? You're just in for a real treat tonight. So let me bring him up. I'm going to give him a proper introduction like I always like to do when we come into the Stocks and Stiletto Society. We have so many new ladies, so I want to welcome you first and foremost. I am Cassandra Cummings, the founder and creator of the Stocks and Stiletto Society. Can you believe it? We have over 62 thousand black women in this group who are crushing it with their investment goals so i am super delighted I think we got like all the black women on facebook <laughs> <laughs> so keep on coming make sure you share the love don't keep us a secret because we want more and more women winning in this financial game okay so let me bring up jay who is also um someone who um, is going to help us catch these coins. His name is Jason Sweeting and he goes by Jay the Trader. He has worked hard and he has studied the market for countless hours. Um, his market proficiencies include the 30 year bond market and the S&P 500 futures. So after work, working, you know, putting his 10,000 hours, which is based on a Harvard study that you reach mastery level, when you hit 10,000 hours, um, that he finds comfort in knowing that his hard work isn't in vain. He has gone on with this knowledge, with this experience to help hundreds of people gain control of their financial life. So I'm super excited that he is here tonight to join us along with some of his bond bullies. They have definitely like filled up my Zoom room. We are at capacity. That's how, that's how hard they ride for him, which is awesome. You know, um, so we, we love the fact that they're here to support him and find out more about what Jay is all about. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring up Jay the trader so he can tell you all about day trading um, and how you can come out of this pandemic, honey, not just clutching your pearls, right? But pack these pockets so you can get even more nicer pearls okay so with that without further ado let me go ahead and make sure i bring jay to the camera kind of like to the stage but to the camera coming to the stage coming coming to the stage <laughs> coming to the camera all right coming to the screen <laughs> all right so make sure your camera's on and we'll get you going hey how you doing hey how you feeling everything all right Good. So I'm glad you were able to join us tonight. Um, so I gave a little bit of intro. Did I miss out anything? You want to add something? No, nah, no, nah, it was perfect. It was great. <laughs> okay. So where are you coming in from? Uh, well, I'm born and raised in Miami, Florida, and I'm still here now. Yeah, I'm born right. in 305. I left for a little while to go to school. I went to the University of Florida. Go Gators. Anybody out there? If okay. not, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. Uh, I'm a Seminole at heart anyways. And I married a hurricane, so... It's a Florida oh thing. Gosh. So I came wow. back home to Miami after school and I've been here ever since. Nice, nice. So the MIA, wow, I was there yeah. in December of last year. It's hot out there. Yeah, it is, I it is. Like but in you, more ways than one, it's like, you know. But it's, but it's cool too, you know, you gotta just balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, right. So Florida in the house, MIA is in the house. Wonderful. Yeah. So I'm so excited to have you here in the Stocks and Stiletto Society. Women have been talking about wanting to learn how to day trade. And I caught wind that you break it down for them in very you know, like bite-sized pieces. And that's what I really like. If we can deliver the information in a way that women can actually learn it and apply it in a relatively short period of time, I'm all for it. So sure. tell us about why why day trading? Like, what sparked your interest in getting involved in day trading? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. The same thing that sparked everybody's interest. You know, you see a whole lot of money. You're going, what's that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's it. Uh, of course, by profession, I'm a musician. I play piano and I sing. 
And uh, I was doing that in town forever, you know, Coral Gable, South Beach, West Palm Beach, the Breakers, downtown, Wynwood. It don't matter if it was a keyboard and a, and a microphone and sometimes no microphone. It was a room I could get with it, you know. Uh, but what happened was I realized that I probably needed to bolster my income in some way. I was on my way. Uh, I was in Atlanta actually hanging out with a homeboy of mine. We was about to go play some golf. And on the way to pick him up, he's sitting at a computer and I see he has on a headset and he's talking to people. This is like 2014. And he's talking to people about stuff and he's clicking the computer and then he makes some more clicks and then puts on his shirt and we head out. And I'm like, hey, say, what was that? Like, what are you doing? And uh, he's like, oh yeah, I'm just trading. I'm like, trading what? You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're at a computer, what are you doing? He's like, dog, I trade. And I'm like, okay, well, I say dog because he's my fraternity brother, okay? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Qs, shout out to the Reds, shout out to the K, shout out to everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, uh, I said, man, you know, like, what is that? And he was the first exposure I ever saw. After that, I started reading a little bit and then I made a mistake and took a trade and it worked. And I have been addicted to that. Ever since. <laughs> Wait, did you made a mistake, or did it was you a mistake. Like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> what had happened was <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight up. I clicked the button and it turned green. The number turned green, and I was like, "Oh my God! Did I just make money clicking a button? What is this? I've got to know more." And that was kind of like the beginning. Uh, fast forward to 2017, of course, because my wife and I we. Uh, you know, had a business in 2015 and, you know, we were just working on stuff we were working on. Of course, I was still making music all around town. And then 2017 is kind of like trading tapped me on my shoulder and was like, hey, you remember me? You remember me? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I remember you. And uh, I, I really got 10 toes down at that point. For me, that was like the breaking for me or the tipping point for me. I said, you know what, let's do it. And, you know, it was practice, heartbreak, uh, disappointment, joy, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hubris, and every part of the trading journey ever since. Um, fast forward to the not to now I got one of like the uh, the dopest. I mean, the best. I mean, the great. I mean, the most. I mean, the, the <laughs> most. I mean, I mean, I lead the one, most wonderful group of traders that the world has ever seen. Shout out to, of course, stocks and stilettos, but ain't nothing like a bomb bully. So shout out to the bullies. And that, that leads me to the Nah, you know, the stocks, stocks and Stiletto Society, they're, you know, we're just unlike any other. We are the stocks and stars, so I'm we are you. hard. I'm hard. telling you, I'm <laughs> telling you, I love what you've done. And just if I could take a moment, it is no small thing what you've been able to create. Um, Getting 62,000 people to do anything together is difficult, let yeah. alone trying to get money. So I think that that's cool, and shout out to you for that, straight up. I told my wife about it, she was like, what? I was like, yeah, did that. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Um, it has just been a fascinating ride. I'm so glad that I've been able to create this community for a lot of women and changing so many women's lives and some men too. You know, we've got some men looking over these ladies' shoulders, learning a thing or two. <laughs> well, that's what we always do. <laughs> that's what we always do. <laughs> let me ask you. So, uh, you know, you got in. Um, you kind of were looking for some some streams of income, mm -hmm. things like that. Why futures? And tell us a little bit, like, what are futures? Okay, so what I trade is a 30-year bond, right? Okay. And the futures market essentially is it's just that. What it does is project the future possibility of an item. So uh, the purpose of it, let's just start working. Is it okay if we start working a little bit? Let's Absolutely. work a little bit. Yeah. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The purpose of a market is to facilitate trade. That's all it's about. They're real estate markets, housing markets, supermarkets, car markets. And the whole purpose of a market is it's a place so that buyers and sellers can get together and haggle. That's all they're doing. They're buying and selling and I'll buy that. The conversation is quite simple. I'll buy that or I won't or I'll sell that or I won't. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the conversation. So what got to me and what made me understand was I looked at so many different markets and you have some markets, they move so fast, they, they move so fast. It's like, uh, like, a, like a bunny rabbit in there. They're just going up and down and up and down all day and it was so quick. And then I saw this little slow moving market. It was slow moving and it was predictable. 
it was methodical. And I was like, what's that? I want that one because all the other ones are so fast, you know? And it was the 30 year bonds. And the bonds are so dope. The, to me, they're amazing because one, they pay so well $31.25 a tick per contract right? Uh, of course, as you know, when short-term investing or day trading, you set your own risk to reward ratios. Um, and it seemed like such a wonderful, predictable market to trade. While other things were behaving erratically, there were the bonds moving the same way they were moving last week, last month, last quarter. Um, and then it limited also when people trade stocks, they have to know about so much information. You know, you're reading articles and you know in management teams and you have to know what the CEO just tweeted and you have all of these alerts and it just seems so heavy to me, me being so simple-minded as I am. So I said to myself, self, do you want to trade those stocks over there that are moving fast and you have to read about so much or do you want to trade these bonds over here that's moving so slow, they pay so good and uh, you don't really have to know nothing except what's going on with the United States. I said, okay, cool. So we'll, we'll start trying, trying these bonds. And uh, there began the love affair. So I began to trade and trade and practice and fail and fail. And did I mention that I failed a lot? It was a lot of failing. Uh, I talked to the bullies all the time about my early trading career. I don't believe after that first successful trade, I don't think it was another one for maybe 10 or 11 months. After that, I was clicking a button and all I saw was red <laughs> and more red. It was <laughs> terrible. Um, I began to study and I really began to read and dive into it. And then uh, along the way, I started picking up these nuggets and creating a methodology for myself. Um, then, of course, I started becoming a fantastic trader. You know, I passed combines and I funded accounts and I traded well. And um, I realized that in my mind, I had rules that maybe nobody else had. There was a buddy of mine, shout out to my man, Cliff. Cliff said, man, you should probably like write this down or tell somebody about it, you know, like start writing it down. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll start writing it down. And that's how it all began. You know, bond market mastery kind of began with Cliff telling me you should write down your rules. How do you see the market? What do you see every day? What sort of day types do you see? Or what sort of normal movement do you see? Or how does momentum look to you? Or what about velocity? And all of these different concepts that I started just kind of making up. Because, you know, mama ain't go to Harvard. Daddy ain't go to Harvard. Nobody was investing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, well, we don't need to catch these Harvard-like, you know, coins. So yeah, for everybody, sure. everybody can get some. Everybody can get it. <laughs> It's, it's really wide open. Um, I say to the bullies all the time, every day it rains billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And my job is simply to show you where to stand and get wet. And it's mm -hmm. not hard. You know, I have students that have done some remarkable things, like things I've never thought about doing in my first month of trading or two weeks of trading or when I was 17 or when I was 68 or my youngest bully when I was 13 years old, things I've never thought about doing. So it's just remarkable to see how the information that I just thought was haphazard and just my little stuff, how it's getting in people's heads, getting into their trading life and being able to make a difference. That's awesome. That's awesome. Cause I know that we have some women that are ready to stand up and get drenched. Okay. So, <laughs> um, we got to definitely make this happen tonight um, for them. So talk a little bit about, um, you know, how did you come to create Jay the Trader? I mean, obviously your name is Jason, but how did, how did that name come about? Well, you know how it is in our culture. Nobody gets there. <laughs> Come on. I mean, it, it could have been Pookie the Trader. It could have been you know what I'm saying? It could have been Pookie. <laughs> you know, call you something. Your homeboys call you something. You know, and uh, what happened, uh, I guess, I, in college, everybody is two syllables. So I became Jay Sweet. My name is Jason Sweeting. And they boiled it down, and I was Jay Sweet on the yard. And then... Um, I think it, it might have been Cliff or maybe maybe somebody else and was like, oh, you're Jada Trader, Jada Trader. And I was like, okay, cool, I'm Jada Trader. That's it. I trade and my name is Jay, so let's go. And uh, that's kind of how it happened. And yeah, I like how it just kind of sticks. It has a nice little flow to it. So like let, me, it. Yeah, like let me ask you this. So you've got the Bond bullies, but you know, my community is 99% Black women. Of Why course. do you think this is something that Black women need to know? Okay, so I'm raising four black women. Really? You yeah. got four girls. I got all girls. All oh girls. my goodness. Shout out I'm to the, the oldest of six. I'm the oldest of six girls. Oh really? 
Yeah, so I'm not going to imagine what that's... Did what dad that's keep like. going back to try and get the boy, or he left it at six? Yeah, well, we lost him before he actually had a boy. Okay, okay, I'm so sorry, so yeah. my other girlfriend, Katrina, she's got six girls, too. What? Yeah, <laughs> so you have hey, more. Yeah. <laughs> ain't nothing, like, ain't nothing like a house full of young like faith, you know? It's nothing like somebody say hashtag girl dad. That's really the name yeah, of the hashtag girl dad. The reason why I, I need black women to do this, honestly, is because I'm raising some and they need to see you do it. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's a tapestry in life. I believe that we come for a minute and then we got to go. That's it. You pick up the baton from the person that passed it to you. And when you pass it, hopefully you're a little further along in the race. Right. So if the race of black women nurturing literally a nation, like literally nurturing, not figuratively, like mouth to breast nurturing all manners of people. Right. Um, if they've been doing that so long, imagine what you guys will do for my girls and yeah. for their girls and for their girls. Mm -hmm. If we're not responsible for the future, then we'll end up repeating the past and it's true i know it sounds so stupid and so cliche but i need you to win because my girls are watching yes so you got I, that's awesome yeah you know and we're all about each one teach one and so that's the name of the game for me that's the biggest i must say and i'm sure you can uh attest to this cassandra for me like my excitement comes in right when you start talking like that because the truth is Everybody can make money. We gonna make we gonna make money every day and go to sleep. The bullies will tell you. We wake up, look at the market, make some money, laugh, joke with one another, crack jokes on one another, and close the trading room. Simple. It's every day. The question is, hey, can we help somebody else do it? Because to be a bomb bully don't mean that you know how to make money. That's mm -hmm. just the first step. Second step is who else can we help do it? You know, bullies that started in April are helping the bullies that started yesterday. And the bullies that started yesterday gonna help the bullies that started in October and in November and December. We all owe it to one another to get as good as we can because it's somebody that needs our help and we have to be ready to help them. That's right. it. And I think that that was something that I had to finally overcome, which is probably why the stocks and stilettos had really taken off was because I was really playing myself small. Right, and right. so as soon as I said, no more, I'm going to really put this out here, put myself out there. Yeah. And that's when I saw the, the, the transformation, not only within myself, but within the group, because I said, you know, a lot more of my, my sisters got to get this. Yes. They got to get this. So I really appreciate your, um, your words on that. So I want to talk a little bit about your class. You've okay. got, you've got a class that's, you know, coming out to show, or you are, it's already ready to go. So yes. that's been better. So you've got a class to teach women how to day trade. So talk a little bit about what they'll actually learn in this class. So in this class, what you learn how to do is master the market. The idea behind the class is I developed the type of class I would have needed when I first started out. There are some elements as a trader that you just need. You need good education, sound education. Like nobody out here telling you stupid stuff. No YouTube cookups, re rewrites, no remixes. Like stuff that works. You need that, right? And then after that, you need examples. You need to watch somebody do it. You need to look over somebody's shoulder and do it. So I created a trade room every day, 8.20 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time, until I like to say 10.30, but, you know, the bullies hang out. You know, it might go up. <laughs> you know, the bullies hang out. We hang out. Ain't no telling what we're talking about. But we, you know, we, we're in the trade room every day so that the new bullies and the old, everybody, the bond babies and the brawlers and the bruisers and the bullies, everybody can see what's going on. You know, how do you apply what you showed me in that video, Jay? You know, so that's very important. I think another key element that I needed when I first started out was somebody I can actually call, like somebody I can put my hands on and say, hey, what is this? You know, so one-on-one -on -one coaching is real. You know, uh, it might be 12 at night for me. It might be right after the trade room, but I'm on the phone with a bully, two, three of them a day, just mm -hmm. to make sure, do you know what you need to know specifically for your trading situation, for your life situation? You know, and it can be any number of things that bullies want to talk about, trade setups, how to go from working your nine to five to becoming a full-time trader, um, passing trader evaluations or combines and ways to do that in the most expedient fashion. So that's very big for me. Another thing that was big was continual education, 
right? Because maybe I got these one little two little nuggets, but maybe I want to, you know, put a little razzle dazzle on my game. Maybe, maybe I can get into another, you know, you know, one or two, you know, little razzle dazzle. So just in case I can, you know, pull a little money, a little more money out the market. So we do that too. Continual education every Sunday night at 6:30 p.m. Eastern time. We're talking about trading, something about trading, psychology or techniques or entry or exit strategies or at the money strategies or whatever is the best thing to talk about. Uh, and then last but definitely not least, to me the thing that is most priceless out of everything that you can have as a trader when you start off was community. One of the scariest things in the world is climbing this mountain by yourself because you're gonna go to your dinner table and no one's gonna know what you're talking about. Can you believe what happened in the market today? You, you, I mean, this is what you wanna talk about. You're eating dinner, you're like, yo, did you see the 04s? Could you believe that the 04s supported? I had my entry at 01, they left me, you know, or whatever. But the, everybody in your house is like, man, shut up. You know, turn the volume up. Like, we're talking over the show, bro. Like, chill. You know, Big Brother is on or whatever. So you're, you're in this world alone. And then what I thought was so important, I know I was in the world alone. Nobody to cry to, nobody that understood community. I'm sure... I'm sure the Stocks of Toledo's family knows that, you know, to be able to reach into a pot of 62,000 amazing people and grab four life-changing women that can gird you up on either side, oh, come on. So the bomb bullies, the, the community, we, I mean, the Telegram pops all day, the Facebook group pops, you know, everybody's on it. The gram is popping. We got bond bully, you know, little small communities like Atlanta bullies and Jersey bullies. And you know what I'm saying? The, the single mama bullies, the stay at home bullies, you know what I'm saying? Like all of that sort of stuff. And what happens is the community girds themselves. Everybody knows that they can look around for help. That's it. Every morning we turn on our computers and we all try and solve the same problem together. In my room, it's not like my mic is open and everybody else's is quiet. No, like it's a conversation. <laughs> what do you guys see? Hey, what do you think? Hey, what kind of day do you think is going to be? Where do you think the market's going to end? What do you have? And when we all try and solve the same problem, what we find is sometime around 10 a.m., I start saying, hey, show me your profits. And the bullies just start putting up numbers, you know. So that's good. I'm, I mean, so if I hear you correctly, you come in about 8.20, you're yeah. off about a little after 10. Yeah. So you can make how about how much money in like before lunch, right? Before lunchtime. <laughs> before lunchtime, you can do some damage. We have different okay. kinds of bullies doing different kinds of things, right? Of course, and you have to trade the way that works for you because every trader has their own individual spirit and style. I do help try and carve that out for you. But, you know, self-discovery is a big part of your trading journey. Um, but we have bullies. Uh, Noah is 13. Yesterday, he put up $500. I'm trying to remember some of the people. Bullies, if y'all in there, tell me your P&Ls for the day, like, so I can remember. Um, you know, you have bullies like Ezra. He's going to make $3,000 and close a computer. You have Mossy. Mossy's going to make four grand and close a computer. Um, you have Jayhawk. Jayhawk's going to pull 625 to 825 a day, close a computer. You got somebody like Draco. Draco <laughs> gonna make, Draco gonna make $2,700. And it, you know, it's before we even get in the room. Oh, I traded last night, Jay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> she's, on, she's on a mission. She's, she's, yeah. she's got laser focus. She's trying to reach, hit this goal so it's she can crazy. throw the middle finger up to her employer. And she, <laughs> she has a number. I know Drake, she's got a number she's trying to hit before yeah. she throw up the deuces. So leave her alone, people. let her get her coins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, and everybody, I mean, from Dennis to Kali to Jayhawk to Ron White to Ronald T to West to all of the bullies, you know, T Vega Vega, all of them, they just end up posting PLs making me proud. Shaq mm -hmm. does it, and all, all the rest of the bullies do it. You know, around about 10 o'clock, I'm like, hey, yo, what's your PLs? Because if anybody's in the red, what I try and do is say, hey, if you're in the red, that's cool. We'll stay on and work it out. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's your next trade? What are you thinking? What's next? How are you going to get your money back? Because they don't call us bullies for nothing. We're not going to get beat up by this market. No way, right. Jay. No Absolutely. way. Absolutely. I love it. Money. We're not going to let this market beat us up. We no. are in position to win. So yes, I we. love it. Um, okay. So I want to, to bring on, you know, one of your bullies because, you know, we, we, we don't want to take your word for it. 
<laughs> we're bullies in the house. Other bullies um, himself. There's some bullies so, in the house. Yeah, he's on. Um, I, um, I think I think Kali's in here. Kali, you in here? I think yeah, Kali's you can just in here. hit us in the chat, and then we'll see. You know, we are at capacity. I hope he was able to get in. Is this? I, th I think, yes. I think okay. she made it. She made it in. Yeah, she's in here. Colleagues in here. I mean, yeah, fun. all the bullies are dope. All right, Kali. Okay, yeah, I think we have her here. Uh, let's see. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can get your camera and your mic on. Hi. Hey, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. How are you? Yes, I'm doing well. So you are one of the Bond bullies. How did you find out about Jada Trader? Just like everyone else, I was scrolling through Instagram late one night and I saw um, one of his, his stories mm -hmm. and something about his spirit just like gravitates to you. So I was looking at it and there was this sincerity in his voice like he actually cared. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about, you know, your two seconds of fame on Instagram. He literally cared. And this was late one night. So I messaged um, a random question just to see if I would get a reply. Not that I was looking for an answer, but I wanted to make sure that I could have that connection. Like if you have a question, you want to be able to reach out. And within five minutes, Jay replied. And I was like, well, okay. And <laughs> it was 11.53 PM that night on April 28th, I bought the course. And I was like, Jay, I'm in. I don't know what a candle is. I've never traded before. And he was like, don't worry, Kali, I got you. And from there, it was, it was, that, that was it. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so, um, so tell us like, where are you from? I hear an accent. <laughs> yes. Originally from Trinidad and Tobago, I migrated at the age of 17. Okay. I'm, I now live in Miami, relocating soon to my new home in uh, Orlando. So I'm excited about that. Um, when I met Jay, I was actually just like my unemployment was about to end. And I told him, I was Jay, I'm not going back to work. Like, I want to be home with my babies. I'm not doing a nine to five. I'm not working. I'm not giving my time for money anymore. And he was like, Holly, we got you. And that, that, the rest is history. Like, I'm not going back to a nine to five. Nice. Wonderful. So the money that you've earned through trading, that's helping you purchase the house in Orlando. My down payment, my closing costs, everything was from trading. Wonderful. <laughs> go, go, Kali, go. And just so you know, his teaching is unparalleled to anything else I've ever seen. I also use his strategies to trade options, okay. which has been paying me a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> Well, time out, time out, because that's my lane. <laughs> so we're going to keep Jay with the Jay trading, and they come to me for the <laughs> options. And, you know, we're going to hit them with the one-two punch, okay? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so I love the crazy thing. <laughs> Independent of a trader is so important to me. Like, I don't want people to only be able to make money if I'm around. Like, that's crazy. And then what happens is there's a particular video that's in the teachable called how to read candles and candles tell the story. Men lie, women lie. I'm a lie. Everybody gonna lie in the world. You know what I'm saying? Your mama gonna lie. Your daddy gonna lie. Your kids gonna lie. Them candles, they gonna tell you the truth. And because <laughs> the bullies know how to read the candles, you could take the knowledge and, you know, apply it. You could see support. Yeah. You can see resistance. You can see breakouts. You can see fakies. You can see long traps. You can see short traps. You can see it. And, and the bullies just know how to do it. So, you know, we make money on the bonds. We make money on the ES. I've never in my life, and I tell the bullies this all the time, I don't even know what an option is. I don't know how to do it. It's confusing to me. Y'all be calling stuff and covering stuff, and I don't know nothing about that. But, you know, they take the, they take the sauce and sprinkle it in the option. See, I just got to keep looking left. I, I stay in my, I stay in my lane. Futures is not my ministry, you know, so, uh, you know. Oh, Lord, Lord. <laughs> but yeah, well, I think that is so amazing. So why don't you share with us, Khalid, like one of your, you know, highest trades, like what's, what, share with us one of your most successful trades. 
Uh, six weeks into the course, I cashed out my 401k and I opened up a Ninja Trader account. And the first trade I took, I traded the ES, and that trade was 1625. And ever since that, it's always been a four figure for me. I always take profit, so <laughs> um, it's wow. been four figures since I went live. Yeah. You make four figures on every trade? Yes. <laughs> I like the open and I do the gaps. <laughs> that is sick. That's crazy. Yep. Okay. I am floored. Oh my gosh. I'm amazed. I didn't know that, by the way. I just think I know, she, Jay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. Like, I never prepped. We, we didn't do any, like, oh, say this. No, no. Yeah. Like, I've never heard this before. She's just a dope bully. I love Kali because she's a great person. You see what I'm saying? Like, helpful to the community, always there for somebody, staying positive in the room, great trading insight. But I never knew that before. Go ahead, then, girl. <laughs> so I, I hear your phone blowing up, Jay. That means people must be signing up for the class. <laughs> <laughs> they better get it I before the make price sure go up. <laughs> that we tell them about the class. First of all, I want to thank you so much, Kali, for coming on and sharing your story. Um, we just never know. Some things are just not in our control. We lose our jobs. We we have a pandemic. We get furloughed. Um, things yeah. happen to us that are not in our control. But what is in our control is our ability to learn these things, so That's that true. we can also. Um, take care of our families and you know no matter what happens we are now in the driver's seat so I wish you all the best come back Thank and you. join the Stocks and Stiletto Society oh I'll see you in Vegas yes oh you're coming to Vegas <laughs> I will be there <laughs> great news yes we're gonna have a great time so I can't mm -hmm. wait to meet you Thank awesome. you. Same okay, here. Okay, Lil, I'll see you in about a month. A little over a yes, month. Yes, ma'am. Right, <laughs> Thank have you. Have a good night. Have a good, good night. Oh yeah. my gosh, I'm just love, like, love, love, love. I'm overjoyed. That's crazy. So, yes. Okay, so. Yeah, I had no know. idea she did these things, you know. <laughs> I had no idea, you know. After a little while, I get comfortable. I know the bullies will be okay. I might check in on them once or twice. And when I check in on them, it's mostly like, hey, how you doing? What's up with the fam? Is everybody all right? You know, y'all okay over there? But it's not really like P and L talk. Go, go ahead now. Down payment, closing costs, and you out there six uh, a four figure daily. I ain't mad at you. I bet you wow. I'm. Oh, I'm so excited. So um, let's talk a little bit about the class because I want to make sure if we have questions okay. and so forth that um, we get get there. So someone asked, how much money does she invest? So. How much do you have to start with when you are uh, getting started with your class? Because that's a that's a really big question. For right, that's a fair question. Everybody wants to know like what does it cost at the gate to play the game, right? So uh, to trade is to use a tool called a contract. Now, a tool called a contract. Let's just call it a loaf of bread, right? Uh, when Dixie got them. Publix got them, Piggly Wiggly, Kroger's. Everybody's got a loaf of bread. It all depends on where you want to go get your loaf of bread from because you want to make your sandwich, right? So for me, <clears throat> uh, you know, you can find a broker that'll give you a contract and it'll cost you $7,500. You'll find another broker give you the same futures contract for $500. So my mama told me you better shop around. You know, <laughs> that's the biggest thing. So how much does it cost to get in the game is a different sort of question because what you have to think about then is how many contracts would you like to trade? And then what is your risk aversion? And then what, is, what are your daily profit goals? You know what I'm saying? These are all things that are architected in the course. And of course, we can hone in on them specifically. There's a video in the course called Capital Management. And really, it's all about making sure we don't trade to make money. We trade not to lose it. You know what I'm saying? So I want to put you in a good position as a trader. Uh, so answering that question is difficult. What I will say is with two contracts, you can make a whole lot of money every day. You know, uh, I'm a two, three contract trader, maybe. Uh, I did some, I did some crazy stuff today, but you know, <laughs> I'm basically a two, three contract trader and you know, you can find two, three contracts for $1,500.
with wow. uh, certain brokers. So with so, that little bit, you know, and then like, I'm sure you all understand risk reward ratios in here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, you don't? No, but that's something that they can learn when they take your class. Okay. So, okay. Well, you know, a lot of ladies who are brand new to just investing in general. And okay, so okay. That's what they take the classes for, so that they learn some of these new concepts, new terminology. Right. I heard you drop the word combine. So talk a little bit about that too, because once you get to a point where you're trading proficiently, you mm -hmm. can do these things called combine. Kind of talk a little bit about that. Okay. Well, a combine. Let's say you don't want to trade your own money. Right. At the highest level, the greatest investors that we study and we all are in awe of when we see them, Paul Tudor Jones and the, the Oracle of Omaha and all these great investors, they're essentially funded traders. They trade other people's money. The police uh, union of New York might give somebody money to trade for their retirement fund. Um, and the, the, the education board of Topeka might give somebody else money to trade. So they are funded traders. They're using other people's money to trade. And we do it all the time. We don't walk up on a house and say, hey, we want to buy this house. We say, hey, baby, you know, you want to go get this house? She's going to say, yeah, baby, I, I really want to get this one. The kid is in the background. Everybody wants this house. You say to the broker, hey, how much is the house? The broker says the house is three seventy five. dollars You say $375,000? He says, yes. You say, all right, Mr. Broker, we'll take it. You go home to, to your house, you know, you lay with your wife. You say, man, God is so good. That house is going to be so great. We got, uh, how much we got saved? 50000 Okay, well, we got 50000 only 325 more, and we're going to be in that house. No, we don't do that. Absolutely not. What we do is give people our credit, and we give them a down payment. And because we have a down payment and credit, it gives us access to the capital to control the asset. Right. So we're not controlling it with because we have all the money for it. We're controlling it because we have a track record and a down payment, the buy in. Right. So now how does that apply to a trader? Well, yeah. Say you want to trade a large account like you want to trade one hundred fifty thousand dollars and you don't want it to be your money. So you can tr take a trader test and they say, hey, if you pass this trader test, we'll give you one hundred and fifty thousand dollars of our money to trade. So you get into the test. It's a paper money situation, but it's being watched. You know, there's someone who is watching your trades, evaluating your abilities. And once you hit your profit target, they say, thank you so much. Here's $150,000. We'll split it. You take 80, I take 20, you know? And that's kind of how I got started. I told you I was a musician, right? You know how it is when you're a musician, right? You eat peanut butter and star artist. Star artist. <laughs> you cannot imagine the things I know how to do with a, with a box of big quick mix. You know what I'm saying? I can get it in. <laughs> ramen. You got oh, eat ramen. Oh, come on. Come on. I can make it do whatever I can, you know. Okay. So I needed someone to stake me. So there I was with my little $150. And I entered into a $50,000 combine. Uh, thank God I was able to pass that combine successfully. They gave me $50,000 of their money to trade. And then I traded their money and we split it 80, 20 my way. And that's kind of how I got started. That's awesome. So if you become, you know, the bomb.com type of trader, you can get paid to trade other people's money. For sure. You, yeah. So you don't even have to come in with your own money. Once you become proficient enough, you can actually just trade other people's money and get a cut. 80% though? That seems like a huge... Isn't it crazy? That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. You know, I, I, if it was not for Trader Combines, when was a musician that had a wife and two children was going... When was I going to save $5,000? That just wasn't going to happen. And, wow. you know, because we live in real times, these are real times. We have crazy political situations, crazy economic situations. We have money that is moving from one form to another. People are trying to interpret what money looks like in 50 years, let alone if they'll have some. So it's very important that we protect our risk. You know, we really do protect capital. That's very, very important. And then the other side is that we open up all of the opportunities to get into the game as we can. For so long as a people, we've been out of the game. You know, we didn't even know there was, the game was being played. And then once we figured out it was being played, they wouldn't let us in to play. And then when they would let us in to play, they changed the rules so that the moment we got into the game to play, we had to get back out because we didn't have everything we needed. 
And yes. here we go with more stair steps and more things to climb. And every time we think we're almost there, they push the end zone back just a little bit further on us. So what I found was a combine, quite literally, and it was a lifesaver. I'll never forget the first time I got my wire from my combine account. My wife finally said, so it is real? i never forget. Because <laughs> before then, it was just like fake green numbers going up and down. She was like, that ain't no money for real. You need to go play that keyboard. Shout out, Angela. Someone, someone's asking, so if you do get in this combine, you know, it's kind of down the road, I guess, for some ladies, but um, if you do get in and you lose money on, you know, lose somebody else's money, what happens? Well, if you become a funded trader, there are rules of being a funded trader because after all, you're trading someone else's money. So you can't trade it how you want to or else they'll stop you. They'll cash you out. They'll close your account. Uh, so those sort of things are applicable. What I'd like to tell bullies is, okay, cool. You want to get in there, you're going to get somebody else bread. First things first, let's learn how to do it. <laughs> let's just wake up in the morning and learn how to get inside the market and get out the market with the bread. Once yeah. we do that, we get that part down. It don't matter. Uh, you, can, you can start with a million dollar account and end up with $2. Or you can start with $2 oh, yeah, you and end up, up with a million dollar account. account. Yeah, you can blow up your account open. real fast. So, but in the combine, they do have people monitoring your trades. So yes. probably yes. not gonna let you blow up other somebody else's account. No, no, no. They have all sort of max drawdown limits and daily loss limits. Yeah. Because every day, you know, we're human. Every day is not a perfect day, you know. So, hey, you know, your combine partner or your funding partner might say, hey, you know, Jay, you kind of lost your max for today. You know, you're done. Yeah. Come get them tomorrow, and that's fine. Yeah. That's good. So we have some questions. We got Tisha in here hey. showing out in the chat, telling people that she made 30000 in one day, real money on she a trade. Did. She did. And um, um, so that's awesome. And she also took my options class. And she is, she is definitely a force to be reckoned with. And yeah, uh, I'm yeah. excited to see how far she goes. <laughs> and then um, I want to talk a little bit about um, how you said, you know, they keep moving the, the end zone. They keep changing the, the, the playing field on us. Um, I just heard or just saw a clip today about police brutality bonds, how Wall Street is making money on the police brutality fund, uh, yeah. police brutality bonds. And so it's just never ending on how they are able to really capitalize on black people um, and make money when you get beat up yeah and make yeah. so much money off of us and we are just not playing chess um we're playing checkers we're showing up like with some like voice walking said we're showing up with one of them sporks to a gunfight <laughs> you know yeah. so this puts us in a much better position if we're able to learn these kind of skills in how to make money every day in the For market sure. How empowering is that? Yes. What happens is the greatest, because I'm a musician, check it out. I'm a musician. I've done, I've played every gig you can imagine. You know, I've been there when somebody was about to get born and played the baby shower. I played um, everything all the way to the funeral. You know, one thing that I've learned is that life's most precious thing, in my opinion, is peace to have peace and possess it, to have peace. And I don't think that money is the, the, the it's, the, it's, it's not the all. target. It's not the end all be all. No, it's not the target, you know what I'm saying? But along the way, what it does help is to add options. And yeah. what options give you is a sense of control and a sense of peace with your life. I was telling the bullies today, like, you know, a kid drowns in a pool. So the kids should have learned to swim. Well, maybe mom and dad couldn't afford the lessons. But imagine if mom and dad knew how to get in and out of this market. Mom and dad can afford the lessons. The kid falls in the pool. The kid swims to the edge and gets out. Comes home wet. Mom's mad about wet clothes, but not sad about a baby. Yeah. And that, to me, is the value. And you can lay that situation on. You can lay it on everyone's life. You need 
just a little bit of breathing room so that your mind can be at peace. My father is a marriage counselor. Most marriages end because of financial arguments. Uh, businesses end because of financial arguments. Friendships end because of financial arguments. Big mama died and now the family can't get together because of financial arguments. Everybody's over here clamoring at this dollar and this dollar is so easy to get. It yeah. is so easy yeah. to get. Once you're, once you're equipped, it does open up. I mean, you know, money allows you, like you said, opportunities. It, yes. it buys freedom for you. And, I, you know, I want, I want a lot of women, I want all the women in here, all 62,000 to, to, to have this feeling. You yes. know, it's enough for everybody. They're, you know, literally go into the market and print money every single day once you are well equipped so there's a couple of things that questions that have come up what platform are you using to trade on well i trade on a platform called ninja trader it's actually free to download and free to practice on and it's one of the ones that i suggest that you know you go and go to ninjatrader.com download the platform they'll even give you a few weeks of free data to start out so you can just play around with it that's the platform of choice for me although i do have bullies that are trading on other platforms as well okay good and then um talk about the format of your class is it live instruction pre-recorded do they get the pre-recorded you know kind of talk a little bit about the structure of the class Right, right. So uh, it's on a platform called Teachable. So Teachable is kind of like you can take your education wherever you go if you want to watch it on your computer, your desktop, laptop, your mobile device, Android, iPhone, or whatever. So that the it's pre-recorded in there. But I felt like that could end up being so stale and stagnant at times. So it was really important that the education roll over into real sit market situations. So that trade room, the way that I explain it to students is. Um, this is what I want you to do. And ladies, hear me out. This is the dopest. Here we go. Ladies, I want to take your head and push it under the water. So you kick and scream and kick and scream and you think that you're going to drown until you realize you could breathe water the whole time. So immersion is the concept. I want you to get it in three phases. So you have the platform for education. You can take it anywhere. It can ride with you. You can take it everywhere you want to go. Put your AirPods in and you can exercise. You can vibe out with it if you're at the gym, whatever you want to do. And then come to the trading room. Watch the education be applied by the bullies and myself. Watch it unfold. And then while you by yourself, before you go to bed, after you, you know, before you pray and thank God for a beautiful day, you know what I'm saying? Before you tuck them babies away or whatever, you get on Ninja Trader and you download what I call replay data. You can literally download information from a past trading day and practice it today in real time. And be, what's going to happen is you're going to do that for a week and you're going to feel stupid because you won't know what's going on. That's you underwater shaking, thinking that you can't breathe water. I'm going to hold your head still under there. I'm going to tell you keep doing it, right? And then it's going to go for another week maybe 10 days, maybe 10 to 14, you'll start saying, hey, being under this water ain't so bad. And next thing you know, you know, about 14, what I find on average is about 14, 17 days, you know, the bullies, they start saying, hey, Jay, you see those 178 20s? We gonna sell there? Would that look like this for you? You know what I'm saying? And I start seeing the students, I'll say, okay, cool. They're getting it, they're getting it, they're getting it. So, you know, it's an immersive sort of technique that I use, but what I say is if you give me just a couple weeks, I can, I'll, I'll do my best to change your life. You know, I'll wow. do that is incredible. I mean, that's fantastic. So they can come in, watch these videos, and then they would pair that up with the live trading room and become a bond bully, essentially. And yeah. I would say, you know, it sounds like to me within about a month, a little bit over a month, Showtime. actually start to see some returns. Showtime. Oh my gosh, Showtime in 30 days. So I'm a 17 year old bully named Chandler. I don't know if Chandler's on here. He's from Fort Worth, Texas, 17 years old, bought the course. Didn't really message me. We really didn't talk. About, I guess, a couple weeks after he buys a course, he asked, Hey man, you know, like, can we get on an IG call? So I call him and I'm thinking it's Chandler, some guy, right? And I pick up the phone. He like, Hey, how you doing? I'm like, You good, man? He said, Yes, sir, I'm good. I'm going, yes, sir. What's going on? So I'm like, oh, you're a kid. He's like, yes, yes, sir. I'm in 11th grade. I'll be a, a senior next year. 
I said, okay, well, what's going on? He said, well, I think I'm ready to trade. I asked him a few questions. He felt comfortable. I said, go for it. He put $1,500 in his account and he asked his dad to match his $1,500, right? Uh, so he started out with a brokerage account with $3,000 in it. And that was about a month ago. I went live with Chandler on IG maybe three or four days ago and I asked him where was his account balance? And I started with 30 grand. Was it around 30? And he was like, you can go higher. And we ended up around $50,000 the kid had done wow. in a long time. So it's phenomenal to see that you can, I mean, because I, I, I mean, I cried over the span of a year, but every tear was so worth it. I was telling the bullies in training this evening, I would do it 20 more times if I could show one person how to go get this bread because it ain't hard. You can right. go get it. That's awesome. So I, that, I mean, that just pulls on my heartstrings. To a seventeen-year-old can do. Yeah, it. he's unemployable at this point, and he says that they're going to do teleeducation for the next year. He says, "So I don't have to go to school, Jay. So I'm, I'm still just going to be trading yeah. every day." <laughs> yeah, so that's awesome. He'll be able to fill up his day uh, with something productive and profitable. So that's yes. awesome. Yes. So I'm excited. So uh, again, we want to just say the class is the combination of some pre-recorded videos as well as some live trading that comes with it. Now, people have been, been blowing up the chat at saying how much is the class. So the class is regularly, you want to tell them what it is? class is $27,000. <laughs> you don't cut it out. <laughs> You know, no, I do not. not. I, hey, I take care of my ladies. I am not going to do that to my ladies. No, absolutely <laughs> not. What I, told, what I told everybody that follows me is I believe that my job at this phase of my life is creating, imagine, right? Because I went to school for engineering, right? So I'm naturally a problem solver. And then I graduated with a degree in advertising. So I'm a communicating problem solver. The problem is we have a lot of access to knowledge, but the, the fence is kind of high to jump to get the access. So I asked myself what would be good. And um, I told myself, you know, what if we could provide, what if we could provide Prime 112, Ruth Chris, Mr. Child's, you know, premium. level, like, pr I mean, talk about, like premium content. <laughs> I'm talking about, but at like McDonald's prices. <laughs> And with McDonald's convenience, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't get into Mr. Child's at two in the morning. And you know, and what, you know, what McDonald's sells is convenience. They don't necessarily sell food. They sell convenience. They sell the ability to get your bed, get your kids in bed at night without, you know, at a good price. That's what they sell. You can get these kids fed and in bed and ready for the next day. They sell you convenience. So I said, what if I can do premium product at value price in a convenient way? And I looked at the landscape of what was being offered. And of course, we have this concept of value versus price because, you know, price is what something costs, but value is what it is for you. It's like grandma surgery. You know, grandma surgery costs 40 grand, but grandma alive, priceless. You know, it's the difference between price and value. So um, I got with Cassandra, you know what I'm saying? I told her we <laughs> doing something special. We got to rock out, you know, and the course, I'm 10 toes down on this concept. It, it, you know, it's normally 547. That's the normal situation. And uh, after looking at the landscape and looking at what other people are offering and then looking at what it is I'm committed to, I'm really committed to people. Um, I know people who need this information that's making maybe $1,700 a month. And what I said is, what if I can get everything in my head into their head in one paycheck? So for me, that was important. It was the single mom. It was my homegirl who worked at the Y. It was uh, that other musician whose church just um, canceled them because they're just going to stop because no one's in church right now. Uh, no one's at gigs for all the rest of my gigging musicians, all of my painters and artists and actresses. And then I thought about every other market that was taking a big hit, people being furloughed. I mean, every Thursday, the job reports come out and you know, millions, millions and millions. 
I mean, millions of people. And what that number represents is not just people losing their job. That means kids won't get shoes for the fall for school. Kids might not have book bags or pencils. The application of the information is so scary to me that I'm like, yo, I, ca I don't, in I cannot in good conscience price the people who need the information out of the information. That just wouldn't work. Okay, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm on the edge of my seat. So 547, but you've got a super sweet special for the ladies here in the Stocks and Stiletto Society. You already know. You already know. You want to tell them? You want me to tell them? All right, I'll tell them. I'll you tell them. You tell them. I'll tell them. So I'm so thankful and so grateful to have crossed paths with Jay. He has put together a special for us where you get 50% off 50% off goes to the first 100 people that sign up tonight. And that is going to be, uh, if you use the code, trade with J. So you want to go to bit.ly, trade with J, capital J, trade with J, capital J. And then you want to use the discount code, trade with J. And you get 50% off. We only have enough space for 100 ladies because this is like an unbeatable deal so i want to make sure that you um get that and it's in the caption of the video i'll also pin it to the group and people want to know is this something that they can do with other classes would you recommend like if they wanted to take my option class and your class at the same time is that something that would be doing? yeah yeah okay. Good. Yeah. See, the thing okay. is, we don't we don't tell the kids, oh, they, he's learning to walk. Don't make them learn to talk at the same time. No, no, no. <laughs> do it all. If we can trust our babies to do it, they learn how to walk, feed themselves, put on clothes, all at the same time. I don't believe that you should limit yourself. I mean, after all, black women, come on, where are the limits? Literally. Right. Right. I mean, and we can handle it. You know. Literally. Can that okay. <laughs> that is, I'm not putting on. That's real. <laughs> where are the limits jesus black women come on ain't no limits ain't okay, no i want to make sure we um have the code for everybody because um i think those spaces are going to go so fast um so he's giving um he's giving a 50 percent off discount so make sure you use you go to the right site and that you use the code um Trade with Jay, okay? Yeah, use that code, trade with Jay. All right. So you know what? I want to make sure that, you know, I always bring good partners. I think this is going to be the start of something special yeah. um, working with you. I really like how um, you are really down for your community. Oh, we right. know that our, 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 you know, community, they're underinvested. Uh, under -invested. And this is something that's really about to be a, a true game changer. So I'm so excited to have you on tonight. Um, we just got a time for just a couple more questions. Thank uh, you. If I can say that while you're checking on the questions. Yeah. Thank you. I think that's the biggest vibe. The biggest vibe is like, you know, who can we help? Can you imagine 62,000 people making everyday payday? Can you imagine what that looks like? What does the value, like that's amazing. And then what I love to say to the bullies is, yeah, you know how to make that money right now. What does that mean to your great grandchild? You've never seen them. You don't know who they are, right? But man, what the work that you're doing now is impacting a life that you might not ever touch. It's so important, so, so, so important to make every day payday. Every mm -hmm. day should be payday. Every day is a payday, um, and so this can actually be a reality for ladies in the group to be able to do this. And like I said, once you have this skill set, you can do this to the dirt. I mean, you could do this in your 70s and your 80s, um, you know, yeah. things like that. So it is incredible. Like I said, you want to go to bit.ly, trade with J, make sure the J is capitalized, and then to get the 50% off discount. You want to make sure you put in the code trade with Jay. Um, and I'm just so excited for what's about to unfold. These ladies are about to just be, you know, crushing. Well, like, I already ate hey, the SNS bullies. Y'all are so welcome. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> SNS bullies, come on. 
You got to make sure you take care of my ladies now. So um, we got um, we got room for 100 ladies uh, for the 50% off discount. And um, so again, make sure you go to Trade with J, capital J. And then that's going to be discount code Trade with J. It's been a phenomenal evening. I'm so glad that you were ha uh, we were able to come in tonight. Um, any parting words, anything you want to leave on the hearts of the ladies in the, cl in the society? This might sound crazy. So I was thinking about what I could say, and I thought about a story. The story goes like this. A guy leaves a cave. He comes back. He says, yo, it's a lot of money if we leave this cave. Now, the guy before him that left the cave never came back. So everybody in the cave is looking at him like, hey, man, you know, like, how you, you, you don't have no money on you. So the guy leaves the cave again, and this time when he comes back, he brings money. He's like, look, guys, I'm telling you, if you leave the cave, we can go get this money. So the people start thinking about how much it would cost them to leave the cave. I mean, think about it. They made a home of the cave. That's where the beds are. That's where grandma is. That's where the stove is. I mean, they made a life out of the cave, right? So it's going to cost them something to leave the cave. But the idea is that it's going to cost you a whole lot more to stay in the cave. Um, and I don't want you to think of right now is I'm telling you I left the cave and you and I'm coming back to get you. No, no, no. I want you to think of yourself as the one that's already left and you got to get back. Like your sister, your auntie now, cousin now, you know, your auntie that's trying to get you to join the susu. So if you put in a hundred, you'll be in the middle of the circle. Huh? You know, your cousin them who always, hey, let me hold something. Let me get $50. Can I get $100? Because they're going to cut my lights if I, you know, I need a little help. Those are the people you got to come back and tell them that is money outside of the cave. And the cave has been put on their minds on purpose. The programming that the world lets black folks receive is ridiculous. It's crazy. When was the last time you went to your uh, page on Instagram and the stuff they wanted to show you was about how to get money? You no, know, they're showing you how to twerk. They're showing you uh, fitness goals. They're showing you what's on somebody's plate to eat, the coolest restaurants to go visit, but they're not telling you how to go get a bag. And they're trying to program us. They're trying to program. I mean, every day they're trying to program us. And I know people like Cassandra, people like myself, you know, we really have a heart so that people are deprogrammed and reprogrammed with the right stuff. Let's get about this cave. Let's go get this bread. Let's come back in. Let's tell Pookie Nim, Nuck Nuck Nim, Pojo Nim, Auntie Nim, <laughs> Sister Nim, <laughs> June Bug Nim, Peanut Nim, Big Man and Little Man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get all of them and let's go back out here and go get this bread because it's so important to provide the type of peace to your family that your family deserves. Yes. Yes. Get out of the cave. Get out of the cave. We got to yeah. help our people. We got to show them that this is possible. We got to yeah. provide financial and economic empowerment yes. to our people. And I'm glad that we, we're on the same team when it comes to that. People want to know they've signed up. It's getting, you know, it's crazy. I think we're uh, probably about to cut off the 50% discount because I believe we're almost at the 100 mark and so if you haven't gotten in make sure you are able to use that discount it's going to cut off when we hit a hundred so um, the classes are self-paced and then you go into the live trading room to get help and so um, make sure that you sign up you can take the classes at your leisure so if you're a night owl like myself you can look look at the videos at night and then be on in the morning for right. the live trading with the now the SNS bullies, you're going to have a whole new community built out of this. The SNS bullies, what's that? Yes. And oh. so the other thing I want to do is um, I want to do this as, as, uh, as a, a, a pay it forward type of thing. Oh, talk to me. Um, I want people, if you want to really get in this class and you cannot afford to get in, I'm going to give three scholarships. Wow. I'm going to give three scholarships tonight, but I want you to hit Jay up on Instagram and I'm going to let him decide. So send Jay a DM. Can I match you? Can I match you? If you do three, I'll do three. 
Absolutely. Okay, cool. Because we always have ladies who are, you know, in unfortunate situations. I get emails all the time. I lost my job. You know, I'm not able to do the class. So I will do three scholarships. I'm going to let you select the three. And then it sounds like you're going to match me. Yeah, of course. So it'll be okay. So I'm going to let you pick and then you just go ahead and get them enrolled and what have you. So um, we'll make a decision and we'll announce it this upcoming week. So if you know anybody that probably really needs to get in here and they've fallen on hard times, I want to make sure that they get an opportunity to do that. So we've got six scholarships, sounds like, and I want to make sure that, um, well, I want to make sure that we um, are able to um, provide an opportunity for being able to change somebody's lives and yes. not only their lives, but their family's lives, yes. their, their children's and, you know, children's children. So um, this is really, really important to me. And I really believe in the work that Jay is doing um, with teaching women and men how to uh, reach financial freedom. So with that, um, let's see if we have any other questions. Um, yeah, so they'll, when will they get access to the class when they sign up? Immediately, check your email. And okay, so they get instant, happens. it'll be instant yeah. access. Instant, uh, if, if it doesn't come to your inbox, you know how uh, mail filters are now with uh, all the new ICANN rules. So if it's not in your inbox, check your uh, spam or junk folder. Okay, wonderful, that. wonderful. So mm -hmm. for the ladies that want to keep up with you, how do they follow you on social media? <laughs> you holla at your boy. I'm at, at J underscore the underscore trader. I'm J the trader. So, you know, just hit me up there. I'm there all the time. Seems like my phone is glued to my hands these days. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all our phones glued to our hands. <laughs> right? It used to be a guitar or a keyboard. Now it's a phone. I can't shake this thing off. But, you know, uh, I'm there. And uh, the commitment that I have is to make sure that you're okay. Trading can be a tumultuous journey. Trust me. It can kind of, it can kind of stink, but the whole thing is I'm here with you. We're here with you and we support you. We're going to give you great information. And even if sometimes it might get a little foggy, I'm only a message away. If it's not on Instagram, it could be on email or on Telegram. But if you holler at me, trust me, I'm going to holler back. Well, once again, I just, I'm just, again, so appreciative of you taking out time tonight. You're wrapping up our series, um, this Membership Masterclass. And so I'm so excited that you were able to come in and um, share your um, class with us and give our ladies such a great opportunity to really change the trajectory of their financial lives. So um, I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. Take sure. care of my ladies and oh, um, I'm so delighted that we've been able to cross paths. Have a good night. Same to you. You have a great night. Much love to the Stocks and Stilettos fam. Shout out to the Bullies. Okay. Have a good night. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. Um, Jay the Trader, Jason Sweetie. What a sweetie. We're so delighted that he was able to stop in. Many of the ladies have been asking about day trading. And so I was so fortunate to uh, be introduced to him by Tisha Jones. Tisha Jones was also in my options class and she has been crushing it, let me tell you. And um, so I was very thankful that I was able to um, meet up with him. He closes out our week this week on membership masterclasses. We saved the best, one of the best for last. All of the ladies are great. So as you know, this is the opening time for um, all of our trading strategies courses. I kick off with the options class with Build the Bag. Then we have Latoya Smith-Dean who came in on Monday night. She teaches swing trading and her class also kicks off on September 6th live instruction. And um, her flip a bag class is also, um, you don't want to miss that one. She's actually phenomenal. She comes to us from the profit room. And then we also have, uh, so the swing class website is 2020 flip a bag. So 2020 flip a bag. 
is bit.ly. And then on um, last night, we had Linda White. Linda White teaches Forex. She's also crushing it in the Forex market. And so her website, if you want to check out her class, you want to go to 2020 Forex, capital F, 2020 Forex, capital F. And then if you want to sign up for day uh, trading with Jay, the trader and the bond bullies, he's given us a sweet, sweet offer. Thank you, Jay Sweet. Thank you, Jay, the trader, for doing that for our community. We really, really appreciate you. Um, so you want to check out um, that website is bit.ly, trade with J, capital J, trade with J, capital J, and make sure you use discount code trade with J. Um, I think the spaces are just about gone. So make sure you get in there before the discount code actually expires. And then if you want to join me and the ladies, um, make sure you join us with the options group with Build the Bag. And that site is 2020 Build the Bag, 2020 Build the Bag. So we're delighted to be able to offer these for you. It's almost like going back to school. We have trading classes. You get to pick which class you want to take this upcoming semester to get you ready to go into 2020 with life changing money making skills where you basically can print money print money on demand inside of the stock market so i'm so thankful you were able to join us tonight i want to be considerate of your time we'll be back soon to um see everybody in the group so i want to thank you for being a part of the stocks and stiletto society we are a group of sixty thousand black women on Facebook that are basically crushing our financial goals, which are going to change the lives of not only ourselves, but our families as well. So I appreciate you being here tonight. I'm Cassandra Cummings. I am the founder and creator of the Stocks and Stiletto Society. I'll see everybody soon. Have a good night.